Yep, there. Sweet. All right, let's see if I can, Kendra and I tested this earlier, so we're gonna see how good I am at this. Um, it would help if I shared my screen, guys. Share my screen. This one. You're just getting ready. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! All right, so one of the things we wanna do is uh, just highlight things going on in Sensi Land. So this month we have so much stuff. Um, we've already like got set and warmer of the month pulled for November that I think that warmer is going to sell out because yeah. it is redonkulous uh -huh. and we've been asking for that warmer for a long time. <laughs> it's so nostalgic way. too. It's I so love nostalgic. It. Um, breast cancer awareness collections out, holiday collection, Early access to scents of the season. Sugar Plumberry is one of my all-time favorite scents. And I literally screamed that it's back in that collection. Um, Dumbo, which by the way, uh, Stuffy Malboro is at Disney today. And they have not put the Scentsy signage up yet. But they did pull down the old sponsor's signage. So it's coming soon. Um, she was like, do you think it's up yet? I was like, I don't know. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas 30th. Uh, the holiday bricks and holiday favorites launched today and then we still have early access to the christmas cottage sunspirations coming christmas at hogwarts is still coming bring back my buddy winners um incentive trip earning is still in progress obviously and the sensi club subscriber incentive to earn that really cute um crossbody hip bag whatever you want to call it and the really good november join special in case you get lost, we have a lot going on. Um, shout outs. We wanted to shout out our top sales and top sponsors in both teams. So this is Kendra's team um, to this point, to this afternoon. I guess we pulled them at like, mm -hmm. I don't know, this earlier this morning before noon. Um, Kendra, will you let in who somebody just entered? Um, I think you can do that. I can. Uh, and then my team, um, this is our top 20 currently and sponsors right now. Um, oh, I just found a chin hair. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. Well. And the reason really to be here is because we have, for our very first time as a combined group and doing team meetings, um, the awesome <laughs> Firewoman. Wendy Heath Newgas, fundraising rock star. She's going to teach you how to fight fires in your PRV with fundraising. <laughs> and our current shining star, the bubbly, the amazing, the wonderful Wendy Heath Newgas. And I'm going to stop this and Ooh. highlight her and let her talk. Hi, friends. Oh, my gosh. I still get like emotional when we talk about that whole moment. So let me tell you, this says, please, um, only you can prevent candle fires. I am your Sensi. Can you see it says Sensi Fire Department? Guys, I did it all. This was a costume I wore because we're dressing up tomorrow night for our, my actual live meeting. But Dawn had asked me to come in today, which normally would have been my meeting, but I am that person and I just want to please. So I hope you guys get something from this tonight. I'm going to go back and tell a quick little backstory for those of you who don't know me, just so this really relates to fundraising. I used to sell a com for a company called Cookie Lee Jewelry in direct sales, okay? Um, I did that for like eight years. The economy started getting bad. I was at a doing a fundraiser for a church. See how credible I am. I've always done fundraising and I always want to give back. It truly makes my little heart really happy. So um, I was doing a fundraiser and I walked by this booth and I'm like, oh, that smells good. And the girl's like, oh yeah, you know, they're candles. And I said, oh, my husband, who's a fireman, FDA approved, Fireman Doug approved, um, would not let me have candles because I left some candles on all night long, a jar candle. He got up at five to go to work that morning. This was years ago and basically threw away every candle in the home and said, Wendy, 
how bad is it the captain paramedic for Orange County Fire, right, would burn our house would burn down. So I knew I was done with candles. Went to Bath and Body and bought the wallflowers. I'm going to share something with you. That unit is plugged in. The oil, it evaporates. The unit catches fire when it is plugged in and you don't take it out of the wall. So he got made me get rid of those. I used room sprays, but doing a fundraiser for the jewelry company, I walked by a Scentsy booth and the lady goes, oh no, there were light bulbs. I'm like, what? No, that just is too unreal. I go, but I could smell like baked apple pie, which is still my favorite, one of my favorite scents. And sure enough, I brought home the mini warmer, plugged in in my kitchen, put a cube of baked apple pie and my husband goes, that's what you should represent, babe. Like, forget jewelry. Everybody has jewelry at events. Everyone sells jewelry. So a fundraiser led me to Scentsy. And um, I knew the second I got here, I knew it was my home. I will die doing Scentsy. So I love it. And I just wanted to show you how credible this whole thing is as I'm in this dorky little plastic hat doing all the things for you guys tonight. So let's talk about my very favorite thing to do is to give back. Why is, is fundraising so important? Think about it. Who do we fundraise for? I'm going to look at the chat and if you guys can help me monitor it. Come on, start telling me what kind of organizations or who can we fundraise for? I can tell you what I want to see what you guys are coming up with. Is chat going. Animal shelters. Absolutely, Aaron. Yep. Sports teams. Yes, Ryan. That's right. Dance teams, sports teams, you know, it's whoever needs funds. Cheer. Yes, yes, Dawn. Um, my daughter was a dancer and I used to churches and youth groups. The churches really need the money. That's why I was doing the fundraiser in the first place back when I was selling jewelry, marching bands. You guys are on fire. What I love to think about, it's anyone who needs funds. So you could do a church team, a dance team, sixth grade science camp, um, playground equipment needed for a preschool. I've done that before, too. Um, churches and businesses. You know, I have a business that I, I go to all the time and I sell my products and I give them the donation right there on the spot. I go into the office, sell the products. They have like a Friday fund, some kind of Friday fund thing where they fund lunch for everybody in the office. So they raise funds for their Friday lunches. So I go in and donate to that too. You've got to think outside the box when it's giving back, but why is this so important to our business? Hello, it expands our customer base. You get to meet so many more people. Plus, we need a lot of points to get us to Hawaii, to Orlando, or to Bora Bora, wherever you're choosing to go. Fundraiser is a great way, especially this time of the year. This time of the year is insane. And everybody, first of all, needs funds. So find a good organization. Um, music groups, some of the schools, they've cut out programs. So I do fundraisings for certain schools who have cut programs out. Maybe they want to have an art program. I love to do that too. So the way you really do is just open your ears a little better, right? You know, God gave us two ears and one mouth. Use them accordingly. If you listen to what's happening around you and you look at social media with an intent is, who can I help today? I know. You know what we do? I'll try not to cry. I get so emotional. We go through and we look at social media and we compare ourselves to everybody else. You're looking at social media wrong, my friends. Own who you are. Be your true, authentic self but look for people in need. I'm not saying you see somebody who lost their job and you're like, hey, come to Sensi. No, it's about building those relationships with the people. It can go onto that first. How can I help you out? I, I see you have, you're having a hard time. Let's do a party. Maybe all your friends will buy and I'll give, your pro I'll give the profit up to you. Wait, a personal fundraiser? Why not? Why not give back? It's really, really a beautiful thing. I'm looking here. Oh, buddy drives. I am currently doing three fundraisers right now. I am. Um, so I'll make it a little more authentic to tell you how much I love this fundraising. I'm doing the Children's Hospital of Orange County and I'm doing a buddy drive. Let me rent a truck, fill it with buddies for those children. I get to actually go in and give them to them. 
I probably can't film that, but um, I got a really good connection, unfortunately, to the Children's Hospital. Um, prayers, I would be beautiful right about now. Um, animal rescues, you're right. Animal rescues need help. I have a lady who, who just loves animals, loves animal rescues. And so every time there's like a dog in need, right now I'm doing a boxer rescue. The boxer dogs, um, there's a boxer that's really doing ill and they need to do a big surgery and it's a lot of money. So I'm currently doing a fundraiser, giving back my profit for them. And what I did for this one, this fundraising can be anything that works for you, but really what you wanna do is you wanna serve the person. What I'm going to show you at the end is my files and I'm going to go through and we're going to dig in, but you can't do a fundraiser unless, of course, you realize what people need. So this lady said, you know, I'm out like inland. I live kind of by the beach. She's like an hour inland for me. Crazy traffic in California. Hard to get to. I said, let me send you a box of goodies. I don't have that bag. Let me send you an experience bag. My experience bags, I can share later if you guys haven't seen them. It is a basic little black zipper bag. Remember what I'm saying. You always got to do this. This is, this is from me to you. Start where you are. Do what you can and use what you have. Okay? I'm not asking you to spend money. You can put it in a darn Ziploc baggie if you had to. But it's a few testers, catalogs, order forms. It's got um, samples of Counter Clean, Scentsy Fresh. I put a dryer disc in there, washer whiff sample, so they could get the whole experience. That's my little way to get them into laundry. Um, I'm trying to think what else. A car bar, a travel twist. I know there's something else in there. I just can't think. Experience bags, because Scentsy is about the experience, and I can share all of it, and I have a whole link from Amazon, and they're just a basic bag. Again, you got to use what you have. But I sent her the experience bag on the outside of the bag. I put catalogs and order forms inside. I put about 10 testers. It's kind of a little bit from all the categories. You kind of know, like you'd put cider mill in there, wouldn't you? Christmas cottage. You'd put the scents that people love. Luna, a good clean. You know, you want to make sure you get a good broad range with those 10 testers. That's all you need. Oh my gosh. On the outside of the experience bag is a QR code directly to the party. Every experience bag has a QR code because some people just want to scan and shop. Of course, that link goes to the fundraiser this time. Um, I also use those experience bags for new teamies as well. But um, this lady just wanted to have something. She really didn't know much about Scentsy. So I have a borrow bag and I've got warmers. Um, I sent her a mini warmer, two cubes of wax. Hear me out. I sent what I had. Then... I sent her um, a wall fan diffuser and a pod. And I said, this is how you're going to experience it. And I did send her a flower as well. I take all my flower. I'm a flower girl. You know, I do so much business in flowers, but all my free and half price stuff, I always take flowers or I take like car bars that I send as thank you. Again, do your business as you can. I'm not telling you the way to do it. This is just me sharing my heart. So, she gets this experience bag and she goes, am I supposed to use this stuff? Do I need to send it back? Guys, those warmers and stuff have been out for a long time. I said, just share them with your friends and family. Well, luckily they're having a gathering this weekend and she's going to take the bag and she's going to plug in our little mini warmer and our wall fan diffuser. Guarantee it's going to get more sales because just opening a shopping link up for anyone is not enough. Better yet, let me tell you about this fundraiser. Okay, so I'm doing a horse rescue one as well. Wendy used to ride horses when she was a kid, still love horses. It's kind of a passion of mine. So I love to do animals and horses and kids. I, I just love people in life and I just want to continue to give. When I found Sensi and their slogan was contribute more than you take, I'm like, this is my company. This is, this is who I am. So you've got to find what you're passionate about that's who you want to start your first fundraiser with. And like, I don't even know where to start. What are you passionate about? Reach out. Don't just go online and say, you know, you don't want to cold call a school and walk in. You always want to have a way in.
You always want to have a contact. If your friend's kid is at this school, tell her to set you up with the principal so you can walk in and, and have a name and say, yes, Martha's kids go here. And she said you got needed some playground equipment. Maybe I can help. Come prepared. Okay. And I'm going to talk about that with the flyers and all the stuff I'm going to share. So um, search Facebook groups and join Facebook groups uh, that you have like interest. I wouldn't join, get accepted, and then say, oh, hey, it's Wendy, here with Sensi, I do fundraisers. No, sit back, build relationships, start connecting with people, liking, sharing, you know, look, commenting. That's how it starts. And then suddenly you end up with three fundraisers in one month, right? It's just insane. When my daughter was a dancer, I always did dance teams. And I always, my favorite son uh, actually is the Scent Circle fundraiser. That is the one I did the most volume on more than anything. And I used to send a scent circle home in every single envelope for those people and those kids to, to um, experience it. But better yet, if you have like, say you're going to do a dance team or a cheer team or a soccer team, if you could meet them on the field and let some of the parents smell, experience our products, the fundraiser is going to go better. You can't just say, hey, you know what, I'm going to, do a fundraiser, here's a shopping link, and let's go. No, you've got to. Now, let's say you're like, Wendy, it's impossible for me to do that. I got some other ideas for you. Before we go into all this, you can make a QR code of yourself. Obviously, you would be dressed in this outfit, but you could say, hey, I'm Wendy Heath Newgas with Sensi, and um, I'm here to contribute my profits directly to your organization. You know, say personalize it. Say we do. I give back twenty five percent. That is what I make. So on an average, a hundred dollar order would be twenty five dollars back. A thousand dollars in um, orders before tax and shipping. Always state that. That'd be two hundred and fifty dollars. But if you have a goal, I can show you a grid here that we could figure out how many kids need to sell how much and how we could get that money that you guys need. All right. It's that simple. Dance teams, they always have parent nights. They have competitions. That's when you show up with your basket of scents and some samples and things for them to try out. Maybe a scratch and sniff or all the new scents. Whatever you could do, whatever you can afford, but giving them the experience is going to change the fundraiser. Don't go out there and do something halfway. Go all in, guys. I'm telling you, belly to belly, lean in, and let's make it the best fundraiser ever. I don't do anything halfway. I go all in. So um, let's see what else. So search Facebook groups. I'm looking at um, all of my notes here. I don't want to forget anything. I've got three fundraisers going here right now. The horse rescue, before I do my farms here, is kind of different. The girls had no idea what Sensi was. And I said, why don't we do a party first? Okay, okay, hear me out. So I did a party. I think we sold like. 16, 1700 in a couple hours at the house. Now, I'm a person who carries inventory. So it was cash and carry. Regardless, if you don't have the inventory, that is fine too. Smelling the testers, having one of each system, talking about the systems, letting them spray the counter clean on the counter, let them clean the stainless steel refrigerator. This is what I do, right? You clean, you spray it on the counter clean. You're like, doesn't it smell great? And you're cleaning that refrigerator and you're like, but see that little layer of film? Our counter clean is a dirt repellent. Wait, what? I just sold 12 bottles of counter clean by saying, wipe it a second time. See that shine? Now it's repelling dirt. One little thing like that will get you big sales. Isn't that insane? How about the air purifier? Pop it in. It goes red in their home. It's kind of embarrassing. But I'm like, look. This is, you know, 99.95% .95 of the airborne particles. It's got a HEPA filter that you can replace. It comes with one. This is what you need in your house. It's got a scent throw as well. But when it's cleaning the air, it won't throw the scent. So what you're doing is you're sharing the products. That is my success. Every single time, it's that experience of Sensi. So we're doing the fundraiser. We had a great day. I did not open the shopping link up and tell people we're able to take home the product, touch, see, feel, smell, see it in action. Oh my gosh, it doubled by the next week I opened the shopping link up. 
Do you think setting up at a party made a difference? It did. If that is physically possible, that is the best way. I did this for a cheer team one time. I set up a little small table showing one of each system and testers. And then we opened up the fundraiser and they came to me and picked up their packets. They already smelled the bars. They smelled the wax. They smelled the testers. They already knew what they liked. That is the key to success. Okay. So I don't just say, I got a fundraiser and I'm just going to put a shopping link out and pray. That's kind of like going to social media and doing a post and praying people react. You know, <laughs> it's a little more than that, my friends. And I hate to say it so strictly and so firmly, but I really believe it really has to be more than that. So you got to go out there, think of what you're passionate about and get your ask in gear. You got to ask. If you want something, ask your friends and family. I'm not saying to go on social media and beg for dollars. I'm saying reach out to your friends and family. Hey, do you know anyone who needs funds, an organization or a church? Absolutely, Don. Organization or a church or a school or an animal shelter or a dog rescue, horse rescue. I've done cat rescues before too. Who do you know? You know what? I'll take care of you. If you can land, they might say, oh, I just don't have anybody. Well, if you know someone, I'll take care of you. Give them a half price item. That is what our perpetual reward, right, is used for, to, to, to share. That's what it's for. Obviously, it's an extra half price item for your orders or for a host. But if you use that perpetual party, every time someone does a referral or something to me, I usually give them a little car kit because that's another thing I take for free and half price. And I give them a half price item, what they want works well, and it really changes the difference. So you want to set a goal. You want to show some charts right here, which I'm going to show you. And you want to identify target audiences and potential supporters of your organization. So you're like, Wendy, I, I don't even know where to start. Again, your heart, your passion. What are you passionate about? Ask your little circle. Ask your little circle. You know, we are all... The five people that we surround ourselves with, minus sensi people, right? That is the, your core circle, always. And you want to ask your friends and your family and your aunts and your uncles and your cousins and your bestie, hey, I'm trying to earn a trip. Can you help? I'll take care of you as well. Who do you know that needs funds? I am giving up my profit. <laughs> One time I told a, a dance team that. It was like a hula dancers or something. They were like these little Hawaiian dancers. She thought I gave her the products and all the money. Like it was a couple thousand dollars. And I said, no, no, ma'am, I'm going to give you my profit. So that's why you say we make 25% back as a Sensi consultant. They can look in the catalog and they can see it. They can look online and they can see it. Now we know we get a 5% bonus when we hit 2000. That's up to you. Whether or not you want to keep that money for the packets or or the extra work that you did or prizes to donate a top sales and help somebody reach this top level and bribe them a little bit, you can use it for that as well. So um, if I really feel passionate about something, I give the 30% again, but you 25% is all we have to give. And that is all of our profit. That 5% is a bonus when you hit a goal and treat it like a bonus as well. But when I have to make packets, for kids, I usually do keep the 5% only because the materials and printing and the supplies is usually quite a bit. But um, again, it's your business. I'm just sharing all the ideas. Remember, it's 25% we get back. And um, think about it. If you want to donate that bonus, already know ahead of time. Or you can say, hey, if, you're, if your uh, dance team or church reaches the school, I'll go ahead and kick back my bonus as well. You're not only my profit and my bonus. How cool is that? Some people are like, I don't want to give up my PRV. Stop being stingy. You get all the free and all the high price stuff as well. One fundraiser I did for a dance team, Scent Circle, it funded my entire fall season with, and I do events, right? With stock because I just took all the free and the half price stuff. Secret, I put them in at $500 parties. So I maximized my rewards. I take all the free. I take all the half. I give my profit up. It's really a win-win. And I get a new database and I get new customers and I hopefully book more parties and I get new teams. There is so much. 
And if it doesn't go scan directly and they get it to their house, you can package up the stuff and put your marketing materials in there regardless. So things that you can do, create your own little videos talking about the products or talking about your passion with this organization, um, a little QR code. What you would do is you would record a video. Okay, so record it, save the video, go over to like a YouTube channel or something and do like your own and make it unlisted. Or sometimes I can go into like my Google Drive and I could drop a file in there and then I'll have an actual link that I turn into a QR code. And that's what I send them. And if I can't physically meet the people, at least they get to know who's helping them. And it's a little more personal than just paper or a link. It's you. And you are the one giving up your profit. And you just tell them about your passion. That's why the first thing you need to do is find the organization that you're passionate about. Okay? Next thing. Tailor this fundraiser what resonates with them and what their audience is. They may say, we don't want packets. We don't want paper. Okay, I can do that. Um, always have a start date. Always have an end date. Fundraisers don't go all month long unless it's the chalk buddy drive for this month, but normally they don't go. Sense of urgency. I do no more than 10 days. I don't. Yeah, and I make sure they know the start date and I make sure they know the end date. Huh, if it's kids, always give them a couple more days to get the packets in if you do something like that. But normally 10 days or a week, short, sweet, sense of urgency. You don't want to be like, oh yeah, you can shop anytime this month. <gasps> no. Um, set that deadline and make sure the host or whoever's helping you organize it is aware of it as well. Are you going to package this stuff up? Is it going to go mm -hmm. online? What's going to happen? Make sure you have a contact to promote it. That's important too. Just going in and blindly doing it. Somebody needs to be in charge. And I always give whoever is helping me that way a flower. Again, I told you, I give flowers for everything. Hair, nails, every time I, I go doctors, dentists, I always bring flowers. So my best fundraisers, let me share these documents and let me tell you how simple they are to uh, work. Anybody have questions? Are we okay right now? Good? No, okay. let's keep going. Okay, girl. So this is, if you haven't seen my documents, this is what it looks like. You get to scan each fundraising file. And the last one is a flower party, which is something I created. And it's my favorite thing because I love flowers. Um, I do this every season. I have tons of flower parties going out. That is a training on my YouTube. I'm sticking to fundraisers. So you scan this. It's going to go directly to Canva where you can go, gosh, Wendy, you didn't pull this scent. You can change it and update it. I used to change it and update it for every country, every, everyone. Oh, they're like, I wanna do six cent circles for $20. Mine won't. I will never change the catalog price, but a lot of people do. It's your business. You gotta do what works for you. So I give you the opportunity by taking these files that are absolutely beautiful and making them work for you or for the organization, whatever works best for them. All right, so you know this is going to be the first document. You're going to scan it. You're going to get all these forms, okay? You always want to do it. If you do it in Canva, you want to download first, get it on your Canva there, and then you can go in and edit originally. So in every single one of my fundraisers has this beautiful cover letter that talks about the Sensi fundraiser. Kind of thank you for the interest um, when you... Uh, when you host a Sensi fundraiser, your organization receives the potential of earning outstanding profits to your group, fundraising support and materials at no cost to you. Guys, it's better than wrapping paper and popcorn or whatever else they sell. Um, in addition to that, I will separate the packages and make sure they're all beautiful and the orders are correct. And I will drop them off to you if that's what you're gonna do. If it's all online, guys, easy sailing. But I do an online, I miss that connection so when they are online i make sure that they put their name and they put a little dash and it says the name of the fundraiser okay what if it was a dance team or a cheer team and what if they said we don't want to do a whole group because some kids are going to do better how do we differentiate between single you know who it's going to go to the dance team or the football team 
So that's what they do. They go on, make sure this is directions that you can make on a QR code or you make sure and tell the host or whoever's hosting it for you or the school coordinator. You say, listen, they need to write their name and they need to hyphen like, you know, Mary Jane Smith hyphen. I'm going to um, donate to Haley Humes. So you know that after that dash is the name of the dancer or the football team, you know, the kids, the soccer team, that's who's going to get it. Is it a little harder? Yeah, but how cool is that that you make sure you send them a thank you along with your materials if you're not bagging it up and doing it yourself. Really, it's the easiest way and they're all your contacts are in your workstation. Sometime, someday that contact tab is gonna be just perfect. I just know it. Uh, anyway, okay, so your beautiful Scentsy fundraiser shows all the kinds that we do. It's a full catalog, it's a scent circle, it's a car bar, a fragrance flower, a travel twist, a buddy clip, and I have a mini fundraiser too, and I'm probably gonna create more for the next season because I definitely gotta do more with the pots. I'm thinking about a car kit one, something like that. So this letter goes to the coordinator, okay? This does not go home. Little QR code right here, that's where you could put um, your QR code to the party, the QR code to your video you wanna share, Whatever works for you, this is what you edit. Your name, all this down here, okay? And you can also put your name down at the bottom. Consult an email, website. All right, so this is really the form that goes to the coordinator. A lot, and these two forms are on the beginning of every single fundraiser I have. Here's my Scent Circle fundraiser form, okay? It talks about how much money you can make. This is the one where you look at this document and you look at this grid and you go, well, let's see. On this side, it says number of six packs sold right here. And this is number of participants, okay? It's that simple. So let's say they wanna raise $1,500. They need 40 kids to sell 10 six packs. And guess what? That is $1,500. The money in that box by, by taking the six pack sold and the number of kids that sold or participants, that is going to be the profit. This is your profit window. This is where you determine what they would like to get as a group. So I had one that says, well, we need like $4,000. Dance. That was my dance team fundraiser. I think it was $4,633 in scent circles that I had to separate and put together. And I tied them all in ribbon and yeah, way extra. That was how I did it in the beginning. I got a little smarter since then. I just drop them in little packs now. Forget tying ribbon to all of them. So this is not to go home with the kids. This, this, and this coordinating letter, this is what sells your fundraiser. This is what you go to them with. And I would say, print all these copies up. Go to them with this and say, we can do scent circles. Have one there to show. Oh, oh, you mean they got to experience it too? Who you're selling this fundraiser to? They do, and they get it determined right then and there. So on all the forms, it'll say Scent Circle Fundraiser, okay? It'll say for the price, $15. Again, if you do 20, you gotta change it, okay? Um, with your choice of 20 cents, I always pick about 20 cents, can you see? And um, ways to use it, consultant name, QR code right there. This one form could be a fundraiser. That's it, right? But this would go home with the kids. And then I do a scent description. Why? You know what? These scent descriptions are boss. When you go, oh, candy cane buttercream, a forest of peppermint candy and vanilla frosted with buttercream. Mm, I want to eat it. But these descriptions are really beautiful. It also says if they're fresh or fruity or spicy or um, woodsy, all the things. So this is amazing i i tell you yeah oh, snowberries back i'm so excited for that but um so this would go home with the kids the description right the first two forms are for your coordinator scent circle description yeah yeah they need that and lastly the super cute little order form with payments down here for venmo or zell whatever works for you however you want those fundraisers. It could be these three documents, one, two, and three in a packet, or just sent out via email, no paper at all. Your fundraiser, ask them what works best for them. 
So I would go to a school or to an organization and I would take a basket and I would have a scent circle in there. I'm going to share next my favorite thing ever. Rocky, no. Sorry, my dog. Real life here, guys. Real life, yep. real life. <laughs> See being loud. Sorry, guys. Can you hear it bad? Okay. We're good? You're good. Go for it. Okay. Okay. So then the next one I have is the fragrance flower fundraiser. $16. It shows both styles. Buttercup Bell and Dahlia Darling. I am a Dahlia girl. Sorry. Truth be told. That's everything. So this is the same thing where it does have the cover letter in the beginning. I was very um, cohesive and very intentional with all of my things. The fragrance flower grid. It says right here, these are $16 each, but guess what? $4 from each thing it says right at the bottom. Use the grid above to determine what organization can earn based on the number of flowers sold and the number of participants. Your group will receive $4 per flower. Flat out simple. So once again, 30, uh, 50 kids sold 10 flowers. You're going to write a check for two thousand dollars how cool is that like by selling my favorite products so the flowers of course have a scent description as well and this beautiful little order form remember and it talks about this shows the two different styles okay so having this information really makes a difference but like i said the first two the first two pages remember these go to the coordinator. They don't go home or they don't go emailed to the kids or to whoever is buying. That is for you to land it. That's what I created those for. Talks about if you want to do top sales. Um, some people will say, you know what? I'm just going to get my profit. I'm not going to give any money to the top sales person. And that's okay as well. You do you, boo. You do what works for you. That makes you genuine and authentic. Okay, of course. Fundraising coordinator letter. We're doing car bars now. Okay. So after the coordinating letter, same thing, car bars. Three for 17, bundled this way. Number of participants, number sold. How much profit? What you are paying the organization by what they sell. Set a goal like life. You can't just wake up and not know what you're doing. You got to set a goal. You got to be determined and you got to get your ass in gear and you have to know what you want. Just, yeah, the, the, the chart is amazing. Okay, so I don't want to run through all of these because I think you kind of understand. The first two, of course, go, but this is your car bar fundraiser. I'm just going to show you like the main page of the other ones. Got them all divided up here because, uh, yeah, body clips, they're kind of cute. You know what? Um, buddy clips used to be $15 and my favorite fundraiser back then a few years ago was doing six pack of set circles or a buddy clip for $15. And then it could be something for the kids or something for the parents. And that worked really well until buddy clips went up to $18 and then it didn't work anymore. So, um, the buddy clips, the same thing, it's, same thing. I mean, all the way down to the description. I didn't miss a beat. Everything is here. Of course, the coordinating letter and of course, all the information. So the next one, I'm just gonna show you. The next one is travel twist. Travel twist will be the same way, okay? $7 each, talks right here. That grid shows you everything. The descriptions and look how beautiful our travel twist fundraiser is, all the scents, all the flavors. And um, what else? Oh, here's another one for you. So some people just are like, I just want a sheet of paper that I can like scan, put a QR code and share. Okay. So Wendy did the mini warmer and wax bundle fundraiser. Okay. It says any mini warmer of your choice and three bars of wax. Your choice of mini warmer and three bars from our catalog, licensed warmers and wax excluded. Hello. All for just $40. Guys, that's the Sensi system right there. It shows right there. QR code. You know how well I've done with this one? Everybody loves a warmer and wax, right? What I would do when I followed up with this one is give them a cotton cleanup with my little verbiage that says how to change the, you know, the wax. It's really, truly that simple. 
Um, any other fundraisers? I think I hit them all. Travel Twist, Buddy Clip, Scent Circle, Car Bars, Fragrance Flowers. Um, I will show you this document right here. And this is, this is a flower party, guys. I have it in this size. Um, again, watch the YouTube training. It's too much to share right now. But um, this works, or I have it in a half size that is only this big, and I laminate it, and I put it in a little scenty black cooler bag. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, I think I got one right there. But um, they're insulated, and they're little tiny scentsy bags. I can't, I don't know if they're still available in the consultant store, but you could use any little cooler bag or anything you got or any little, anything. You could use a Ziploc baggie and make just as much money. That's what you need to figure it out. What can you do? Start where you are, do what you can, and just let's slay this season. We have the best products. We have fantastic things. All of our things are FDA approved, Fireman Doug approved, my husband. <laughs> um, only you can prevent candle fires by what? Sensi. So find your passion, share from your heart. Let's see what this season can do. I'm really hoping, I know I'm going to say it right now. By the first week of November, I want level three. Ah, okay, I said it. I just put it out there. I don't know. I'm getting real close, but I'm working hard. And these fundraisers are slaying it right now because they know my heart and they give back and they come back to me every single year. Don't know if I'll do Bora Bora. I want to be in Hawaii with all of you. <gasps> Karen, I didn't even know you were on here. Karen snuck in. <laughs> She's my favorite. She's my sensi mama, so I had to let her come. You what? She's my she's my adopted sensi mama, so she got to come. <laughs> yeah, I got to spend time with her, and um, change my life. Like I love you, Karen. Agreed. Thank you. For... Can't stop. Um, I get so mushy. Um, another thing, uh, I know you're laughing. You're laughing at me. I know, oh, no, because I feel the same way and I tell her it all the time. So it's like, uh, she was like the first person I met on my very first incentive back in 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had to wear these ugly, I said it, I said ugly, didn't I? Okay, they were ugly shirts that were these Hawaiian print that said Sensi on them. They were button down collared. It was 90 degrees and superhuman. They wanted us to take a group picture. <laughs> yeah, that shirt, Karen, was the worst. <laughs> anyway, the other thing I'm doing a lot of, and I don't know why these are blowing me away right now at the table, but um, the s'mores, I did not create this. It's like graham cracker, graham cracker chocolate with the cotton cleanup in the middle. My little s'mores are doing amazing. Um, I also did a fragrance flower in like a wine bag because I love flowers and I have them ready to go at all times. People come, I probably sell anywhere from 30 to 60 a week. I know, it's because I gift them guys because they're my jam. And now we've got sunflowers. Yeah, mine are all gone. Um, poinsettias and the beautiful pink one for breast cancer. Like what a gorgeous thing that we get to do. So a um, couple quotes here for you. You know, you're growing even when no one sees, okay? Don't compare yourself to others. Just know you're growing and you're learning and you're succeeding and you are enough. I need to remind you that because I do the same thing. I push myself and I just, oh, but remember, nobody compliments a caterpillar until it's a butterfly. So remember, compliment all those caterpillars in your organization. Because even the people that are just active, don't forget to shout them out. Don't forget to celebrate all the little things your group does, the posts that they do, the stories they do, screenshot it. People, especially in these times, they need to feel something. They're not getting it hope, you know, at home. You see somebody lashing out in your group, I hate to, to rag on this, but I'm gonna tell you right now, they're probably hurting some way or another. So uh, reach out with your open arms and a big heart. Love your life. Take lots of pictures because it's important of everything. Tell people you love them. Mm. 
Do things that you're scared to do. If this fundraiser thing scares you, I dare you to be brave. Hashtag be brave. You got this. Um, take your life. It's all you got. And make it the best story ever. So one more thing I'm going to show you here. I know. This is my lovely check. I know. I know. It's kind of dorky. Do I need this check to um, do a fundraiser? Do I need this check to pay an organization? No. But has it helped me land other ones? Yes. Because as soon as I'm done with the fundraiser, you're going to see the horse rescue, you're going to see the boxer rescue, you're going to see me present that to them. And that's going to be how I get my next one. So stay connected. Look at social media with an open heart oof, and an open mind and truly be the person that wants to help people. That's where find your passion, find the fundraiser that works for you. It might not be the same one that works for the organization, but find what works for them. You want to walk into someone now and you're like, Wendy, I've got this. This is what I'm going to do. Make sure you have the car bar, the travel to it so they can see and experience it as well. Oh, sorry. My eyes got a little watery there. It got a little <laughs> leaky when I saw Karen was on. Anyway, Does that's what I have got, any friends. questions? Yes. While we have Wendy here. You got she it. Just like shared her mind explosion. And there was more tips in there than even fundraising. I know. I, I can't not. I know. It's it's like the magic of listening to you. There's no, new nuggets every time. So I'm sure. Um, Karen wants to know what's your most popular type of fundraiser? Well, I'll tell you now is doing a party or an experience, right? Having it set up and then opening a link later. Really, it, that that really is the success because they get to experience it and then they get to go crazy and go shopping with it. Yep. But besides that, fragrance flower, because that's my passion. I'm going to sell the fragrance flower fundraiser because I love fragrance flowers. But if I was going to pick one other one, it's that mini warmer because it's a little bit higher dollar value. I hate to say that, but it is the $40 dollar value. So you don't have to do as much to give a, a certain amount to an organization, but find what your passion is, see what kind of money they need and do what works for them. Because all in all, you're going to end up with free and half price things. You're going to give your profit. You're going to feel so good inside your heart. You're just going to be like, what? I just donated to a dog rescue. I just saved a dog's life. I just fed a horse for an entire month. I mean, this is what we have the power to do. Don't not do fundraisers, guys. This is, oof, I get so passionate about them. <laughs> this is how we make a difference in the community. 100%. Sorry. Never apologize. Oh no, Bushy. Never apologize for being ourselves, ever, ever. Oh no. Any other people questions? are just probably like, really? She's crying again. <laughs> <laughs> and Wendy, I'll ask because I, I the files, um, how do people access those? Okay, so I'm gonna drop a link. I don't know if you wanted the experience bag stuff. I know I shared that at Karen's retreat. It's like fire, it's also great for a new teamie. <laughs> Think about it before they even join. Go out there and get the sales and get the orders and do a launch party because oh, here I go again. Sorry, I'm on tangent here. Mm -hmm. Um, This is what I say here in the OC Sense family of teams. This is what we do. We come in, we hit shooting star because it's all about that beautiful kit that you get to buy. We certify in the first month and we always hit sensational star level two or three to get the trophy warmer. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, oh, that's what I got to do. So you say this is what we got to do. Kind of like this fundraiser. We've got to get everyone involved. I am giving up my profit and my time. I want to help your organization. So I am going to drop this file that is going to be, let me find my cute little form. Here it is. This is, this is my document. And it has each fundraiser in all its entirety in Canva that you can change. If you don't like what I did, I take no offense. <laughs> you do you, boo, because that makes my heart happy. And at the end, it does have the flower party. But it says there's directions here. Simply click on the QR code along with the phone camera, whichever whichever is easiest. 
use click use template so read the instructions if you're not good in canva um you can learn and i would use the canva free site because it's there and you don't have to pay. I use Canva, so I do pay. That is the only thing that I use Canva um, as far as editing docs and making flyers and all that things. So that is what's really, really helpful. I am gonna drop this file and anything else I shared that Don will message you back and tell me um, what you guys want. I, I'm an open book, you can have it all. I want everything to be successful. Not just fundraising, but just, earning the trips and it's just such a beautiful time for us all right now when so many companies are going under <laughs> what did i try to do yes i tried to go yesterday and buy baby stuff i got a new grandbaby and there's not even any baby stores around here to buy like a stroller or a wagon you go to nordstrom you know i didn't want to spend a thousand dollars on a stroller i was trying to find like a bye-bye baby or babies are they don't have that anymore guys online has taken over so the second you can get somebody get them to experience your heart do a video if you can't meet in person just share you you are your business you are authentic and you are what makes the difference you want something they gotta feel it coming from you in that video or in person I'm gonna work hard for Bora Bora you know I am right if I don't I'm gonna be in Hawaii and if I could earn more and more and be in Hawaii as well, I'm going to do it all because this is what I live for. I love to work and I love to do fundraisers. So I hope, reach out to me, tell me what you got going on, share your stories because it really, it warms my heart. Any more questions, friend? Um, I don't see any other questions. So I'll get the forms from Wendy and uh, we'll share, it's and I'll share that with you guys. Yeah. Um, and just wanted to say thank you for coming on and sharing your heart with us. Are you ready to do one? Oh, someone did a breast cancer awareness fundraiser. Yeah. There were a couple of people who said they had, uh, accessed your files in the past and had a lot of success with their fundraisers. So, um, Amber said she's over a thousand PRV in her breast cancer one right now. Um, Someone said they did one in the spring for their small town baseball diamond and sold $11,045 in cent circles and only had nine kids participate. Three of there them on their own. <laughs> so um, lots of success already. So I know other people here are very excited to go and find somewhere to share their passions. It's find a passion because guess what? I'm going to make these every single season for you guys, because this is what my life is. Giving back. That's where I'm at. So I want you to have these files and I wish you the best success. Congratulations, Amber. That was just, oh, I, oh I'm doing a breast cancer fundraiser too. I know, too much, <laughs> but but trust me, I, this is what I do. You can tell. High PRV and lots of giving back because, you know, that's the generosity situation. is one of our core values and it will come back to you tenfold if you every do. single so i know i gotta run to target i just thought about that i'm gonna have real pretty hair <laughs> it's not even bad you just took it off you can't even tell <laughs> no you're totally legit oh, hey. yeah it's good yeah. it's good i'm gonna oh, have hair on hair so it's fine oh, that hairspray works, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well thank you thank you very very much i love you so much and we appreciate your time so We'll let you go Good around luck, the target. Everyone. Bye, friends. Bye, Wendy. Bye.